here as the City of Wilmington and Newcastle County unveil their comprehensive economic development plans. Mayor Dennis P. Williams will join Newcastle County Executive Thomas P. Gordon to announce plans to increase economic growth in the City of Wilmington and Newcastle County. Today you will hear a welcome from County Economic Development and Policy Director Marcus Henry, remarks by Mayor Dennis P. Williams, remarks by City Economic Development and Plan Director Jeff Flynn, remarks by Economic Development Planning Subcommittee Chairs Marty Hagman and Mark Kleinschmidt, and then lastly, you will receive remarks from Newcastle County Leadership, County Executive Tom Gordon. Good afternoon, and thank you all for coming out today. My name is Marcus Henry, and I'm the Economic Development Policy Director for Newcastle County. We are very excited for the release of the Newcastle County Economic Development Strategic Plan, which will serve as the first ever countywide comprehensive guide to economic development. We view the plan as a working document to guide the efforts of our Economic Development Office for the future. The plan includes an analysis of the strengths and weaknesses of Newcastle County, a target industry analysis identifying growth areas and demographic shifts, and a strategic action plan detailing best practices and new program initiatives for county government to pursue. The plan is now available on our website at nccde.org. For Newcastle County, our next steps will be working alongside our county council, and especially with the leadership of our county council, economic development subcommittee, co-chairs Janet Kilpatrick and Joseph Retta, and with Council President Christopher Bullock to move forward on elements of the plan and the approval for the necessary funding. It is also great to be here today with the City of Wilmington. We felt it was vitally important that we were able to coordinate some of our economic development planning efforts. I want to thank Mayor Dennis Williams, City Economic Development Director Jeff Flynn, and the Mayor's External Affairs Manager Stephen Williams for their efforts throughout this process. I would also like to say a big thank you to our consulting firm from Wadley Donovan Grove Tech and Garnet Consulting Services, Mr. Bill Frederick and Mr. Mark Waterhouse. Also, to my Deputy Assistant, Michael Bowser, who worked with me for over a year on this report and played a critical role in its success. Also want to thank General Manager Eileen Fogarty and her Land Use Department, who will be assisting in making some of the suggested changes to our land use regulatory process. Eileen has been a great colleague and partner on this project. I also want to thank all the focus groups and interview participants who took hours out of their day to give us an honest assessment of what we are doing well and what we can do better in county government. Lastly, I want to recognize our county government administration under the leadership of County Executive Tom Gordon and CAO David Grimaldi, who identified that there was a true need for a plan such as this to guide our resources and efforts to help Newcastle County play a larger role in economic development. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone for being here, especially my good friend Tom Gordon, Christopher Bullock. I think that uh, we're coming up with a great unified plan. I think this is the first time in the history of this state you've seen government come together so closely. I want to thank members of county council. I want to thank members of city council and all elected officials that are here. I appreciate it and my administration and my staff. I'd just like to bring on Jeff Flynn. He can talk about the rest. I'm the mayor. He's the economic development director. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I, I appreciate your presence here on this special day. Um, over the years, uh, since I've been here at the city, we've had lots of uh, plans, mostly targeted geographic or sort of specific district plans, and even a comprehensive economic development strategy, which is a, a real formula-driven plan uh, for the feds. But we've never sort of stepped back and done a um, overall economic development plan just for the city of Wilmington. And uh, so I, I've been referring to this plan as the plan behind the plans. And what's nice is it's a real, it's a real guide book uh, for the future. Um, I want to thank Marcus Henry. Marcus uh, approached the city about a year ago, uh, and the timing was great. We've been talking about the need for such a plan. Uh, Marcus came to us, described what he was going to be undertaking with the uh, Wadley Donovan Group and presented a fantastic opportunity for the city. And it's been a, a real pleasure to work with, with him. Uh, the result of the past nine months, and I just I brought these, 
because I know uh, many of you will never read them, but so I, I, at least I got to show them to you. They're uh, the results from the research phase is a SWOT analysis, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and issues report. This is where all the data is. The second deliverable, a targeted industries report. Based on the research, this is a list of industries that might be a good fit for uh, Wilmington. And then lastly, the action plan. This is what most of you would consider an economic development plan. On page uh, eight of this document, there are 10 initiatives and 33 specific recommendations. Uh, the 10 initiatives generally roll up to, um, to the mayor's uh, uh, policy objectives for the city to create new residents uh, in the city, uh, reduce crime, increase educational opportunities, increase workforce development, and attract private investment. Uh, the other thing I'll point out about the action plan, and it's uh, a neat item when you get to it, um, each chapter in the plan um, uh, relates back to one of the 10 initiatives. And there are links in that plan that'll take you to best practices from around the, uh, around the country. And it's really good to page through that and see what other cities are doing and, and how uh, we can maybe implement those ideas and learn from them here in the city. Uh, I have a couple of quick um, thank yous to uh, make. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Stephen Williams and recognize him. Stephen's the external affairs manager for our department. He was the lead on the project. Stephen, thank you. Uh, Marty Hageman and Mark Kleinschmidt. Those were our uh, planning committee chairs. Thank you, gentlemen, for all of your help. Bill Frederick, uh, Mark Waterhouse from Widely Donovan Tech. Uh, 76 different participants in uh, focus groups, dozens of interviews with department heads and other uh, business and community leaders, and numerous requests for information. To all of those of you who have a fingerprint on this plan, I want to personally thank you for stopping your daily routine and helping us out. And Sam Lukoff, I'd like to recognize you, the department heads, city council, and of course, uh, Mayor Williams. Mayor Williams gives us the support we need to, um, to try unique and different economic development initiatives. So uh, lastly, I want to make an appeal. Um, we can't do this alone. Get behind the plan. In the next 30 days, we're going to continue to meet with department heads, community leaders, business leaders, and we're taking input from anyone who, who has the interest and time to send it to us. Um, get behind us. Let us know what you think. We're going to make some tweaks if we need to and then bring it to city council for adoption sometime in the near future. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm uh, Mark Kleinschmidt, uh, president of the Newcastle County Chamber of Commerce, and I had the, uh, the privilege of uh, helping chair the so subcommittee um, to help put together the plan with, with Marty Hagerman. Uh, but first, I'd like to congratulate and compliment uh, Mayor Williams and County Executive Gordon for their leadership and foresight in making this happen. So, a big round of applause for that. The one, one thought that I want to share, and this is important, is that economic development is a team sport. We are all in this together. The city, the county, the state, the region, the country, and we're competing in a global marketplace. And we can only get there if we have a focus and a plan. And now with the county and the city coming together and having a list of specific objectives that we can all work on, we have that plan. And we're all in this team together, so I look forward to working with everybody as we move forward. So, Mark? Thank you, Mark. I want to echo what Mark was saying. I just want to say, though, it was a distinct honor and pleasure of working with not only our consultants at Wadley Donovan uh, Growth Tech, but also to Harold Gray and the other members of his team. It was a pleasure and an honor, gentlemen. Now, it's important to note that this is not just a plan, it's an action plan. We heard that, we heard that very clearly. Plans just gather dust. This is not designed to gather dust. Now, what it will do, it's a roadmap. It's a roadmap which can improve our existing business climate here in the city of Wilmington. It's going to diversify our economy. It's going to create jobs, and more importantly, it's going to grow the city's tax base. The plan is a collaboration, as Mark said. It was developed from ideas and concerns of not just the Office of Economic Development here, but also of the downtown and the business community generally of the city of Wilmington. 
Now, it's a collaboration. There's many groups and organizations such as Downtown Visions, the Newcastle County Chamber of Commerce, as well as Wilmington Rotary Club that are prepared to assist the city in moving this plan forward. So I'm anxious to see it happen. I'm looking forward to the implementation stages, which are the most important. So I want to congratulate the mayor again, and thank you, sir. I'm next. <laughs> I'm going to first um, let me recognize uh, some county council members. Our president, Reverend Bullock, to my right, we have I uh, just uh, recognize Penrose Hollins behind me. We have uh, Joe Retta to my right, Janet Kirkpatrick here somewhere, and Tim Sheldon. And I, I hope I didn't miss anybody. But I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I just want to read from some talking points because it's very important. You know, we in New Wilmington and Newcastle County and Delaware don't have a lot of time left. You know, we're losing a lot of good paying jobs. As the mayor knows more than anybody that jobs is the best crime prevention program you can have. And we need a good crime prevention program. So last year, I tasked our Office of Economic Development in a partnership with our land use department, Eileen Fogarty, who is here today, to move toward creating the first ever compre comprehensive plan for Newcastle County. The economy here in Delaware and in Newcastle County and Wilmington is still struggling and we're lagging behind the rest of the region and the country and we de desperately need to take a path forward. It is our goal that this new plan is going to be a blueprint with action steps aimed at short-term goals and long-term opportunities for the county and the city to take to enable economic growth and stability. This new strategic plan is a big first step and we need to make some changes in programming and future planning for local jobs and businesses. But we can't afford, as Marty said, to just do a press conference and let it sit on a shelf. There's an awful lot of things that be, need to be changed in the city in the county to make this an action plan. The plan itself focuses on a rigorous self-assessment to determine the competitive strengths of northern Delaware, and we've got to build upon that strength. We're no longer the chemical capital world or the banking capital world, and we don't build automobile plants. And identification of growth industries of the future, which are likely to define the next decade, a plan to attract and retain growth sector business, rejuvenate the entrepreneurial spirit that we used to have in the city, in this county. We need to take the action steps to guide economic development in planning this county. And to obtain the most honest, productive plan, it is important to include many of the business stakeholders we have here today. Marcus conducted many, with his staff, many, many meetings with groups interviewing leaders of business, academic, government, and civic organizations. And I would like to thank all those that participated. This plan provides the best practices and initiatives that the county can use for good, responsible development and jobs. Many of these, especially the land use changes, are already underway for Newcastle County. We've got to change a lot of things that were put in place by that county executive, Gordon, in the 90s having to do with the Unified Development Code. <laughs> Back then, everybody was having trouble getting to work through traffic. Now everybody's unemployed, having trouble getting to Wawa in the morning. Things have changed. These include a number of streamlining and timeline improvements to make land use process clearer, friendlier, with a focus encouraging smarter growth. The other parts of the plan involved brand new initiatives and changes that are underway in programming and regulations that will be being done by, with uh, Market Henry along with the best practices our county council can assist us with. And I don't need to tell you 
that the state, the city, and county is at a serious turning point. I see Councilman Cartier back there. Uh, nobody, nobody needs to take the responsibility or the credit for this. Everybody in this room needs to be responsible because if we don't at this point deal with the problems that are keeping us from attracting livable wages, we will have an economy like a third world country, and I don't think we're far off. We've got talent in this room. We've got the spirit in this room. We've got the money in this room. We've got a mayor that's listening. And, and uh, I would like to take the privilege of asking just for two more speakers, our president of council, followed by chief administrative officer. So I want to introduce you to a very smart reverend doctor who knows is down in one of our growth areas. And Reverend. Today we see government at its best, uh, the county government, the city government, the mayor, the county exec, both councils are coming together for the good of the people who elected us. So the council, the county council that is, we are excited about working together with the city to address uh, obvious concerns. Uh, it is important that we understand that this is not a wind sprint, it's a marathon. We're going to need everyone on board to make this happen. Uh, big kudos to Mr. Gray, to uh, Marcus Henry and Mr. Flynn for, and their teams, and uh, Mr. Williams for their outstanding work. Uh, the scripture says, without a vision, the people will perish. Uh, there are many residents in the city and the county that are perishing economically, socially, and otherwise. This is a serious plan requires serious attention, and I think we have the right people in the city and the county working on this. We look forward to doing our part at County Council to make this a reality. Thank you. Thank you. I want to recognize first Sam Guy, Deputy CAO, Newcastle County is here. Uh, I want to thank this county executive for his leadership and his vision in putting everybody together and creating the first ever comprehensive economic development plan in county history. Uh, this couldn't have been done without the support of county council, so President Bullock, President Pro Tem Hollins, and members of council, we thank you for your support. Most of all, I want to thank Marcus Henry. Uh, over the last year, he has met with dozens of fo focus groups. He's met with hundreds of stakeholders from business to labor academia and, and, and civics. Marcus, you're the first economic development director in Newcastle County history to create a comprehensive economic development plan. You're one of the first in the state of Delaware, and the county executive and I couldn't be any prouder of you than we are today. Thank you. This year, real median household income in the state of Delaware for the first time ticked below the U.S. average. This is the first time this has happened since 1985. This year, Delaware's unemployment rate has risen above the U.S. average for the first time since 1981. Prior to the crisis, the average Delaware worker earned $28 a week more than the average U.S. worker. Today, the average Delaware worker earns $130 less per week than the average Delaware, than the average U.S. worker. These trends must be reversed, and the good news is that Newcastle County and the city of Wilmington have taken the important first step in doing so. Thank you for coming. That concludes our press conference today. For all the media, speakers will be available individually. Thank you for attending. Tell me about this plan and what it means for Wilmington. Well, uh, so this this plan is a guidebook for moving forward in the next five years. And I think why it's important to Wilmington is we need to create jobs for our citizens and we need to increase the wage tax base. Um, by increasing the wage tax base and generating revenue into the city, we take the tax burden off of its residents, the property tax burden. We also allow uh, ourselves to fund the initiatives that we need to fund to deliver services to the city. Um, 
additionally, this plan um, talks about workforce development and connecting Wilmingtonians uh, with job opportunities. And that's all about increasing disposable income among residents, um, which then turns around and helps us support small business within the city. And additionally, bringing new residents into the city, um, making sure we have a livable city for our existing residents, and uh, diversifying our residential base with young professionals, middle class families, all of, the, all of these things that you sort of hear economic development uh, practitioners talk about, I mean, it's, it's all real, it all needs to be done. And this plan lays out 33 very specific recommendations on how to do that. And they're categorized into 10 initiatives. Those 10 initiatives, you can think of them as sort of goals um, for the city and uh, the strategies, if you will. The 33 recommendations are the tactics. Are there a couple that you can highlight that maybe? Sure. Uh, so, um, the, the 33 uh, tactics range from very specific uh, changes or um, implement, uh, implementations to more general. So let me start with something that's general. There's one in there that recommends um, enhancing the image of the city and recommends uh, maybe hiring a third party um, advertising or public relations firm to help the city identify all the various audiences uh, from existing city residents uh, existing city businesses to businesses regionally to audiences around the country to youth to uh, young professionals and making sure we get the good word about Wilmington's assets to each of those audiences which channel we're going to take and what we're going to say because Wilmington already has a tremendous number of assets we're unique, uniquely located we're a transportation hub we have a wonderful riverfront we have great culture um, fantastic natural resources within an hour or two's drive so we got to get the story out there we got to stop talking and focusing about crime um, all the way on the other side of the spectrum a very specific um, initiative is uh, refunding the strategic housing fund which um, we have the legislation that enables the fund but it's empty and the strategic housing fund is important because uh, the city currently has resources from CDBG funds to do affordable housing but we don't have funds to close the gap on market rate housing. And additional market rate housing is the only way we're gonna get new, um, new residents in sort of that middle income range, which we need. We need a diversity of residents in Wilmington to, to make this ecosystem function. So it's labeled an action plan. What do you need from the county and the state and the city to make this all these plans go into action? That's a great question, Paul. So um, some of these 33 initiatives can be handled just by the Office of Economic Development. Some of them we need interdepartmental support. Some of them need legislation. Some of them need state enabling legislation. So we will be working with the county uh, and the state for instance, we'll be meeting with probably uh, Director of Economic Development, Alan Levin, for the state of Delaware, people from the um, governor's office to introduce these initiatives, get their feedback, find out what's gonna be realistic and where we can work together to get these things done. Some of these initiatives are very ambitious and out of the box thinking, and we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need to, to do research, um, fiscal impact analysis to determine if it's even feasible to have the dialogue. But um, other initiatives, we can get right to work uh, with City Council um, on making tweaks. For example, one of the initiatives is a tweak to the existing property tax abatement policy. It's a loophole that the account, the uh, consultants found, brought to our attention, and we identified it as something that w we need to change. It's a small thing, but it could have a great impact. Is there a time frame to have any of this stuff all in place? Sure. Well, I think I think you heard we're going to be meeting with all the different department heads, state and county officials, and anyone really wants to meet and talk about this plan in the next 30 to 60 days. And then th that'll be the first hurdle to get it um, to get it tweaked and round it out and then take it to, to city council uh, for adoption. And then after that, um, some of the items in the plan are actually already underway. One of the recommendations the mayor announced a month ago, which was to form a young professionals working group. Um, and then some of these could be five years in scope. Some of them may never happen, uh, but uh, some of them, I think, I think on average, we're talking about a year and a half.